We're going to look at how to set up microphones for a documentary interview using a boom mic and a lavalier, both invisible to the camera, as veteran sound recordist Daniel Brooks explains. We are going to interview this woman, and we want to use two different kinds of microphones. We want to use the boom to catch her sound, but also the space. And we want to use a lavalier microphone, which is generally a tighter sound, but sometimes too tight for the perspective of the video. So we take our lavalier, we have some moleskin here. Uh, Dr. Scholz is a sound man's best friend. We, you can buy this at a drugstore or anywhere where they sell food care product. Um, little piece of moleskin. I like to make a little sleeping bag, a little bed. You put the microphone in there and make sure that the head is not rubbing. And then take off the adhesive on the back. And then we go to our subject and we say, could you drop this down your shirt and yeah. pull it all the way through? Good, 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 and then we take the microphone and we place it just inside underneath her shirt. And I often like to ask them to press it down. Now the microphone head is sort of resting without being, without clothes rubbing on top of it. Once you get the microphone in, you plug it into the transmitter, thusly and coil up the surplus cable so it doesn't rub. Tuck it either in a pocket or behind them. Set it under the pillow. Okay. And before the camera's ready to roll the interview, you just do some final adjustments based on how your subject is sitting. You don't want to point at the top of her head. You don't want to point at her stomach. You want to point. The sound radiates from the mouth, but the whole head becomes a resonator. Before we give the cameraman the okay, we check the sound and say, could you Tell me what you had for breakfast today. Gosh, what did I have for breakfast? Oh, a toasted bagel with cream cheese and salmon. Perfect. Perfect. Often if you ask them to count, they'll either count very quietly or they'll count very loud. And then when you do the interview, your levels will be all off. So it's easier to engage your subject with some question where they actually have to give you an answer because they'll often do that in a normal tone of voice. So we're ready to roll whenever you're ready.